Good morning, dear students. I welcome you very warmly on behalf of our Jatika Pasala team. So, today we are going to discuss how to understand a poem. To fulfill this task, we have taken two poems from your grade 11 textbook that is, Leisure and The Little Old Lady. We also will be discussing a few uh, literary techniques with you. At the same time, we'll be discussing uh, masculine and feminine forms with you during this lesson. So, to fulfill this task in our studio, we have Mr. Ranjit Hemachandra. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. Yes, sir. So, what are we going to do to our students today? Yes. Good morning, dear students. Today, we are going to discuss an important part of your paper, that is how to answer a given poem. Sometimes you will be getting a poem and there may be some questions, uh, especially for the literature students. Or students who do literature, they know these things, but uh, the students who do not do literature may not know certain uh, aspects, certain words that are related to uh, the poems. Therefore, Especially for the benefit of those students, we are going to discuss some important parts. Uh, so, here let us see the parts of a poem. In a poem, we get stanzas. So, what, what do you mean by a stanza? Yes, Tanuja uh, Miss, what is a stanza? It is a group of lines in poetry. Yes, a group of lines in poetry that forms a smaller unit. Now, let us read this poem. It has been actually written from the point of view of a small child. Punchi Darwek, ya karapu vedak pili bandhava, tamange amma te nata, tamange mama te kiyena vidhiya poem me kakta me tena tiyeni tamat adahaswalim pirunu poem me kak api balamu vidhiya. So, let us see whether you can understand this simple poem. Uh, shall we read this poem? Yes. I have eaten the plums that were in the ice box and which you were probably saving for breakfast. Forgive me, they were delicious, so sweet and so cold. Now, you can see this poem. Now, let us try to understand it. I have eaten the plums that were in the ice box. Now, what do you mean ice box? That is the refrigerator. I have eaten the plums that were in the ice box and which were probably saving for breakfast. So, make a breakfast ticket. Forgive me, but Samavinda, they were delicious, so sweet and so cold. So, this is just like a note given uh, by a, a child to his mother. So, we can say maybe a boy, maybe a girl. I have eaten the plums that were in the ice box and which you were probably saving for breakfast. Forgive me, they were delicious, so sweet and so cold. So, although this is a very short poem, it has some ideas within it. Now, this child says, he was compelled to eat the plums. Right, forgive me, I have eaten it because they were delicious. So, the poet is William Carlos Williams. So, as the student of language, you must understand the stanzas. Now, there are three stanzas and the writer is William Carlos Williams. Dear students, now we are going to talk about stanzas and different types of stanzas. Tanuja uh, Miss, what are the stanzas, what are the types of stanzas yeah, normally we talk about for the language students? Because for the literature students, we talk about 
several kinds of stanzas. But yeah. here we'll talk only about only two. Only about That's, two. Yeah. So the couplet and also the quatrain. So we'll discuss about those two today. Yes. Couplet. You can see. Couplet. Api single ink yenava ara depedi kavya. Couplet. Let us see uh, a stanza with two rhyming lines. Here is an example for that. The microbe is so very small, you cannot make him out at all. So in a, in a couplet, the last two words should rhyme. Small all. So that is the feature of a couplet. So if you get uh, stanzas like this, where there are two lines, we can call it a couplet. Can a couple can a couple a couple, couple yeah, right. Yugalaya, yeah. a couplet. Uh, normally let can a gat the hammer, I've been got a small can a gat the hazard the other, punchy the pedi kavia can a das. Right. Uh, what's the next one? A court train. What's a court train? You know, quarter that is one fourth, or we can say uh, like that, court train means a four line. Uh, stanza, stanza with four lines that may or may not rhyme. Eka rhyme vendat puluang, rhyme no vendat puluang. Here is an example taken from uh, the poem uh, God, The Garden of Garden Love by Blake. William Blake. Uh, shall we read that? Yes. Uh, uh, poem? yes. Yeah. Okay. I went to the Garden of Love and saw what I never had seen. A chapel was built in the midst where I used to play on the green. So, yeah, there are three more, st uh, two, two more stanzas. So, this yes. is only the first one. First. So, we have given it for you to understand what a quatrain is. Me quatrain kyan ne padi lines hatarak tiyanava. Ita kota eva ge keep yak api kyan ne me stanzas tiyanna puluva. I went to the... Hatarakata api kyan ne eka stanza eka stanza eka kila me eva ge hatarakata octave, Mm -hmm. uh, there are other words, but for you, that means those who uh, are sitting for English language paper, these two would be quite enough. So, couplet means two lines or two line poem or two line uh, stanza. Quatrain means four line stanza. I can If you are question, you can answer that one. So, shall we move on to? The next one. Yes, now we are going to discuss about the techniques, children, literary techniques. So here as well, there are lots of techniques. We call them figures of speech. But here we discuss only two techniques that is necessary for uh, the English language students. One is a simile or we call similes. What do you mean by a simile? Yes, can you, uh, shall we read a definition yes. about a simile? Yeah. An expression that compares two different things showing similarities. Yes, an expression that compares two different things showing similarities. Dear students, a simile is a comparison made between two objects by using words such as like, as, as, as. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I so you can have two things, we call it a simile. Uh, normally we say he is as brave as a lion. So there you have two things, a man has been compared to a lion. Because uh, for, for example, bravery, straightforwardness, uh, courage, whether there are similes and identify the similes in a poem. So next one, another thing is repetition. 
repetition means what is repeated. You can never the never the punaravarane Here is uh, the a definition. definition for that. Can you read it, yeah. please? Repeating a word, phrase, line, or a stanza. Uh, repeating to draw a word. Attention to an idea. Yes, repeating a word, phrase, line, or stanza to draw attention to an idea. Sir, balana duve pute. Repeating a word, eko vachane ak repeat twenda pulvang. Phrase seka, eko ani vaak yance ak. Line neka repeat twenda pulvang. Eko ani thang stanza eko akma repeat twenda pulvang. Eko hunga dura ta venne refrain kela thina song song eko hunga kela ota venda pulvang. So there we get the technique repetition. Repetition to stress something. Stress something. So here we talk about only those two techniques, simile. And uh, repetition. the repetition. Now let us uh, learn uh, some similes because in most of the English language books you get uh, certain similes, and sometimes we call them hackneyed similes also because they have been used over and over again. Now let us read some similes. Uh, can you read some yes. of them? Uh, as cute as a kitten, as light as a feather, as blind as a bat, as bold as a brass. As bright as a button, as shiny as a new pin, as cold as ice, as common as dirt. Yes, as cool as a cucumber, as hard as nails, as hot as hell, as innocent as a lamb, as tall as a giraffe, as tough as nails, as white as a ghost, as sweet as sugar, as black as coal. The hamulema tavat dekata. संबंध कर लेती है। इसके अंदर मेक में पोइम बोलते हुए तरह नहीं मैं आप ही रचना वाटर दरवाजे में युद्धागन ने पुलवां। युद्धागन ने टा पुलवां। इन्हीं साथ तमाय आप ही मेक उबटे विस्तर का नाम ने टा अत्वासी में सूदा नाम कले। So this is very important. You can use them when you are writing essays as well. So these are we call them similes. As cute as a kitten, as beautiful as a rose। ये को बटा समाहरे वह दाग तो ये वाके ये वा पुत्तोले ती ये ना वा ये वा इग्नेंट गाने तो आप में वाटे में साहित्य दिखिए ना वा सिमिलेस के ना तो बट समाहर लाटो बीम प्रश्न या कहानी पुलवां विद देयरा सिमिलेस सो यू हैव टू आईडेंटिफाई दे शैल वी मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन यस सो वी आर गोइंग टू शो यू नाइस वीडियो क्� Leisure. What is this life if full of care? We have no time to stand and stare. No time to stand beneath the buffs and stare as long as sheep or cubs. No time to see when woods we pass, where squirrels hide their nuts in grass. No time to see in broad daylight, streams full of stars like skies at night. No time to turn at beauty's glance and watch her feet, how they can dance. No time to wait till her mouth can enrich that smile on her eyes began. A poor life this is, if full of care. We have no time to stand and stare. Right. Now you can see the problem of today's world. अदर दावसी समाज में लोग के थी ना गैटलू वाक पिले बंदों के तमाई में पद्धेन अब बट किए बने लेज़र व्हाट इज़ लेज़र क्योंकि पीपल एक्चुअली पीपल डोंट हैव लेज़र टू एन्जॉय द नेचर नाउ लेट अस रीड दिस पोयम एंड ट्राइ टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इट इज़ नाउ यू कैन सी इट ऑन द स्क्रीन लेज़र if full of care, we have no time to stand and stare. Balana duwe pute, mukadda me jivite, full of care, we have no time to stand and stare. Apita, poddak hitagena, 
මේ අවට විපරම් කරන්න වෙලාවක් නැහැ no time to stand beneath the boughs that means the branches of trees may gust wala atuyata poddak hitagena inda velawak ne and stay as long as sheep or cows sometimes sheep cows they may be doing it but human beings we don't have time no time to see when woods we pass sometimes we may be passing these woods forest areas samahara velawata api wahana walin meva pasu karamin yanawa habe apita poddak nemathila eva balannata welawa ne balan no time to see when woods we pass where squirrels hide their nuts in grass me lenu gihilla me nuts tanakola asse hanganawa oka diha poddak bala ganinda welawak ne apita no time to see in broad daylight what is broad daylight that is during the day time broad daylight api kiyana maha dawal kiyala api kiyanne broad daylight streams full of stars like skies at night now when you say like skies at night now you can see that there is a simile, simile. so there is a simile it has been compared to the skies at night ratri eta tin ahasa wage mokadda streams full of stars e kiyanne de me me diya paravi wala apita penawa dilisenawa hari eta ratri eta ahasa wage what time at in broad daylight even at during the day time no time to turn at beauty's glass now here beauty that is Uh, it has been personified ek yana kaantawa kupuwan karala thiyena beauty kiyala eyage moone thiyena lassa beauty's glance and watch her feet how they can dance me lassana nartane ke yedenawa eka balanda welawak naya apita no time to wait till her mouth can enrich that smile her eyes began api dannawa there's a very short distance between the eyes and the mouth දැන් මෙතෙන්ද කියන්නේ මේ no time to wait till her mouth can enrich ඒ කියන්නේ ඇසෙන් පටන් ගත්ත මේ සතුට මුඛයෙන් කෙලවර වෙනවා බලන්න වෙලාවක් නැහැ because we are we don't have even a short time to enjoy the beauty of nature a poor life this is a very poor life if full of care we have no time to stand and stare we don't have time to stand and uh, to stand and stare it has been composed by w h davis he is the poet now dear students let us see the mahitan sar buddha dharma avabodhe pilwanda me podi avadi mukut wenawa ne ape daruwanta ape daruwanta kiyanne me prakashana department me wage lessons ganne daruwanta adhyapane kiyanne pota pate thiyena danuwa vitaranne me ape buddhiyata ganne pamanne me අපි හදවත ගැනත් චුට්ටක් හිතලා නේද ඒ පැත්තත් මේක ඔයගොල්ලන්ගේ මේ ටෙක්ස්ට් බුක් එකේ තියෙන පොයම් එකක් එතකොට ඒ questions අපි යොදාගෙන තියෙන අපි බලමු ඔයට පිළිතුරු ලියන්න ඔබේ පොත ඔබේ ලගාව තියෙනවා නම් ඒක බලා ගන්නත් පුළුවන් so you will be getting questions of different type now let us consider the first set of questions yes can you read the first yes. question stand and stare in line to means so you have been given four answers there A relax and look around us B do nothing C stand in one place D stay at something ඉතින් පොඩ්ඩක් නැවත ඔයාලගේ පොයම් එකට ගිහලා චුට්ටක් හිතන්න නේද ඒ කියන්නේ A B C D කියන දීලා තියෙන පිළිතුර හතරෙන් වඩාත්ම සුදුසු පිළිතුර මොකද්ද කියලා අපි බලමු මේක the line stand and stare in lines to means first one A relax and look around us do nothing stand in one place stare at something then balanna menna meva thiyenne muka what is the uh, the correct answer yes it should be number 1 relax and look around us uh, so you'll have to underline it relax and look around us e kiyanne me palawini couple tike ema inne daruwane what is this life if full of care we have no time to stand and stare e kiyanne we don't have time yes. to relax and look around us අපිට වෙලාවක් නැහැ පොඩ්ඩක් රිලැක්ස් කරලා අපි අවට පරිසරයේ පොඩ්ඩක් නරඹන්න වෙලාවක් නැහැ. ඒකයි that is our tragedy. ඒක අපේ ඛේදවාචකයක්. 
uh, that is highlighted through this poem. So, shall we move on to the second, second. one? According to the poet, why can't we see where squirrels hide their nuts? Ah, according to the poet, may caveat on why can't we see where squirrels hide their nuts? Hey, apita me lenu a nuts hanganava balanda velavak nette. Because there are four options. First one, they run away when they see us. Apita kam panel hai. Em sandanak ne? Em sandanak me poem me kine. We are too busy to stop and enjoy the beauty of nature. Ah. See, we dislike animals. D, there are no squirrels in the woods. So, you can see only one is correct. So, yes. which one is correct? Uh, that is B. We are that too busy to stop and enjoy the beauty of nature. Your third couplet goes like this. No time to see when woods we pass, where squirrels hide their nuts in grass. So, therefore, B answer is correct. We are too busy to stop and enjoy the beauty of nature. We are too busy. Now, let us move on to the third one. Yes, the third question goes like this. Streams full of stars like skies at night means? Uh, A, stars are reflected in the streams at midnight. They can midnight again. Up here, give a broad daylight again. Broad daylight again during the daytime. When the rays of the sun fall on the streams, the stones beneath glitter like stars in the sky. See, stones in the streams in the area are shaped like stars. Shooting stars fall into the streams at night. You find only one answer, which is correct. Yeah, what is the correct answer? Yeah, the couplet goes like this. No time to see in broad daylight. Streams full of stars like skies at night. So, therefore, B section is correct. So can you read it, please? When the rays of the sun fall on the streams, the stones beneath glitter like stars in the sky. Ah, when the rays of the sun, Meghira Kirana, me dear streams are wet and wet and wet and wet and wet and wet and wet So, it, that is the beauty. Let us see when the rays of the sun fall on the streams, the stores beneath glitter like stars in the sky. Shall we move on to the next one? Yes. Which of these is not a theme of this poem? So, theme children is a central idea of a poem. So, you read the poem now try to get the central idea. Normally in a poem you find a central idea yes. or we can some kind of message or something like that. So, which of these is not a theme of this poem? Which of these is not a theme of this one? First one, the importance of leisure, relaxing and appreciating nature the beauty of nature, idling and wasting time. So, you can see there is only one line which does not tell us about the theme. Let us read the first one, the importance of leisure. You can viveke tiyana vedagatkana, relaxing and appreciating nature. Api relax venava, eva gema subhavadharma agyakana, the beauty of nature, subhavadharma laksana. Idling and wasting time. Again, with Nikang Vedak Natua Vilava Gatakano, Kale, Nasikan, Etokapidano, the last one is not the theme of this poem. So you have to underline that idling and wasting time. So when you underline this, you can get marks. So let us move on to a different type of question for the next one. Yes. Find the rhyming words in the poem. Now find the rhyming words in the poem. What do you mean by rhyming words? That means the words should end with the same vowel sound or same consonant or same sound, maybe vowel or maybe uh, consonant. glance, dance. So let us see examples. Uh, for example, here are some uh, pairs that we have taken from this 
poem. Care, stare. You can see the uh, air, air sound. Care, air, stare. Next one. Bows, cows. They are sir sound. Pass, grass. Right? Pass, or ask in a sub. Grass. Daylight, daylight, night. Light, night. So, you will have to write at least uh, two pairs for you to get marks. We have written four, care, stare, find the rhyming words in the poem. If they are, you can write, if you like all, you can write care, stare, bows, cows, pass, grass, daylight, night. Now, there is something important that I have to mention about this rhyming word. Sometimes our students make a mistake identifying the wrong word because some, if we say night, bright, light. But if we have the word like eat, it does not rhyme with the with those words because although it ends with the ter sound, ter sound like a tibunai kela, arakatam galapena, e avasana vowel sound deka tekala eka eka tendone. Night, right, bright, sight. You can say boy, joy, toy, girl, curl, pearl. When you may be there, are ekama sound deka agata indone and etakota tama eka rhyming scheme at the rhyming word deka. Words when you have to go to the letter. I mean, a letter eka agata timita palliata maker. Other watch him kin on a words killer. Words killer. You will have to find out the word that. Uh, rhymes with another word, right? Okay, yeah, let's so move question on. Question number six This poem creates a lot of images in our mind. What are they? So, images, chitarup and this. Oh, this poem creates a lot of images in our mind. What are they? Images means imagery, the picture that we get inside our mind. Ape hite, mevina. Imagery, that is what we can get, uh, visual imagery, we can, we can call it. Uh, here we get beneath the boughs. The may kotasakya we get the picture of some trees and branches. So I took only the part of the poem. Uh, be, uh, beneath the boughs means we we get a picture that we are under some trees and there are a lot of branches. Then nuts in grass, we get the picture of nuts and we get the picture of a grass, picture of grass. Then squirrels, we get the picture of squirrels. Then we uh, we can see the sky in in our mind, the stars. So we call them images. So you can. But these answer. are not the only answers, children. You can find some more words and phrases as your answers. So they can. You can write in yes. your own words. Then make meva gullang ke vatanu eliyan napulwa. Beneath the boughs when you eliyan napulwa, you can see someone under the tree, uh, under the trees, and there are branches. Or you can say trees and branches like that. You can write them. Also in the poem, you have other visual images. Yeah, visual image. The, there are other visual imagery as well. You can find them. Shall we move on to the next one? Yes. So the next question goes like this. How many stanzas are there in this poem? Ah, so it's quite easy. So there are some stanzas and uh, you can see. You can uh, just count the couplets. Yes. You can see now we have asked a question about yes. that. How many stanzas are there? Yeah. Yes. There are seven, seven stanzas. stanzas. And next one is what type of stanzas are they? Make a monovarge stanzas. We mulimba katakala varga deka. One is couplets, Couplet. the other one quatrains. So here you can see uh, couplets. Couplets. So the answer is couplets. couplets. Are there any similes used in this poem? What are they? Next question. Are there any similes used? Meke ana monkey we better prasnaya kahan pulu ankela. Me padde similes upama val yudagena tiena vanda. Are there any similes used in this poem? What are they? Are there any similes used in this poem? What are they? So you have to answer both. Both. Very briefly, you can answer yes. this. Now you can see first one, yes. Yes, they are. Ah. You can say yes, so yes, they are. Ah. And the other one, what are they? Like skies at night. 
right? Or we can say there is one. There is one simile. There are two similes. Or you can just say yes. Yes, there is one. There are two. You will have to give the example. Here we find one simile. We can say, yes, there is one, and it is like skies at night. So, uh, and here I, we have got only half, but you can write the complete line, the streams uh, during the broad daylight. The, the, the streams look like skies at night. You can write that part. Yes, and the next question goes like this. Is repetition used in this poem? Show some examples. Oh. Is repetition? So there are. What do you mean by re, re, actually? What do you mean by repetition? Some words are repeated, phrases are repeated, lines are repeated. Me ma poem solati na. Samar poem solat thani vachan ya repeat pe na. Phrase ya repeat pe na. Line ne ka repeat na. Samar stanza ek ma repeat pe. Then are there repeat? Are there repetitive lines? I mean, at the repeated lines. So, can repetition Are there repeated lines? Yes. Yes. So we can write the word yes. And you have to give example. This phrase "no time" is mentioned several times. No time can a phrase seka keep a watawa kidilatina. So we write that no time. Then this phrase "stand and stare" it has been used twice. Then "full of care" that is also use two or three times, two times. So you can mention there are or some uh, re repeated lines and you can give examples. Yes, so before we go to the next poem, children, I would like to remind what we did through this poem. We read the poem, so explained what the poem is about and he gave us three poetic techniques or literary techniques, repetition, rhyming words and also about the simile. Simile. And sometimes you will be asked so you will be questioned about the poet also. Who has composed the poem? Then you will write the name of the poet. Right. Let us move on to another poem that we can find it in your workbook, grade 11 workbook. Uh, shall we read it? Yes. The Little Old Lady uh, by Rodney Bennett. Bennett. So can you read it? Yes. That little grey haired lady is as old as old can be, yet once she was a little girl, a little girl like me. She liked to skip instead of walk. She wore her hair in curls. She went to school at nine and played with other little girls. I wonder if in years and years, some little girl at play who is very like what I am now will stop to look my way and think that grey haired lady is as old as old can be. Yet once she was a little girl, a little girl like me. Right. Now let us look at this poem. The little old lady. The wise of Kanta Vagana Kiena poem meka Balamu. The little grey haired lady. Grey haired lady. It's a quote is a Sudvecha. Kantava is as old as old can be. Then make a with this simile is as old old can be. Why say can a kino na e tarmatamo why say? Then yet once she was a little girl, once she was a little girl, a little girl like me. Hariatava, there's a comparison, a little girl like me, my mama wagi, punchi, gal lame quindati. So up it a pain of a uttarayak. This the narrator is a little girl. Make a little, make a little, make a punch again. Like a mama wage punch again. Like a little, like a Next one, she liked to, she liked to skip instead of walk. Yeah, every day when you want to get home, the skip karakara. Do a little my skip karamin tamaya. That means she was so playful at that time. She wore her hair in curls. Yeah, guess a guess what? Curl velati. She went to school at nine. School at a gay, Ude and played with other little girls. Gil Anitayateka, sell uncle. So, now, but this old lady is, this lady, now, this girl is very old now. Now, let us move on to the next one. I wonder if 
in years and years some little girl at play me avurudu gana right i wonder if in years and years some little girl at play who's very like what i am now harita me mama wage will stop to look my way so she compares herself to that old lady when he when she was a young girl and think that gray haired lady is as old as old can be yet once she was a little girl a little girl like me so very simple poem now it is the idea we can see these are the ideas of a little girl about an elderly woman an old lady so i think you are you can understand it normally you will be getting simple poems like these you will not be getting complicated poems or complicating poems tikak koy sankirna vecha poems obata labinne ne moma sarala eva eva me wage pilithuru soya ganata puluwan poems samaya vibhagira labinne puluwan shall we move on to the questions yes who is described in the first stanza ah, very simple simple question who is described in the first stanza so do you remember uh, the words obata matakaida Shall we? Okay, neither. Little grey-haired lady. Uh, little grey-haired lady. So if you write, write this one, you can get marks. The now the matter comes under who can I have some? It's related How to a person. Can. Yeah. Next one is also easy question. What yes. is that? Who is the narrator of this poem? Uh, who so is who the is narrator of this poem? Me poem me ke khata ke kaudha me ka kya? Who is the narrator? A little girl. A little girl. Me kunchi gal na me ek tamai me ek kya? So you can f- get it from the poem itself. Yes. Next one. Describe the old lady's childhood as indicated by the narrator. Ah, describe the old lady's child as indicated by the narrator. Me narrator kya na vidhi hota? Me aage vistar. Toh apne poem me kya tiyan ma? Shall we? So you get a lot of answers, children. Yes. She liked to skip instead of walk. She wore her hair in curls. She went to school at nine and played with her with other little girls. So, so you can see this the old lady's childhood. Me yage lama kalya karpu abhi hai tiye ne. Mano ad she like to skip instead of walk. Quality ano kuro duaga na skip kar kara yaan ne. And she wore her hair in curls. She went to school at nine, right? And played with other girls. So. Uh, Oh, api dem metena darune poem meke thiyena words ehema maran dala thiyena dem metena describe kiyana nisa oyalata oyala giwachane. Onna me tika vistara kala giyanna. You can write it in your own words. Right. Next one. Write the line which implies that the lady is very old. Uh, write the line which implies that the lady is very old. So there are several places now here we can write is said is as old as old can be. Eva ge me first line ekak thiyena grey haired lady. So you can take one place and write that. Number five. Yes, seeing the old lady makes the narrator think about something. What's it? Uh, seeing the old lady. मितने मे वाइसर कांता व देखला मे नरेटर टे राइट अबाउट समथिंग. What is it? यार मातक के नोवा किसी आम दिया. यार हितनो आम किसी दिया. What's it? Yeah. So she remembers uh, some, some little, little girl, girl at play, play who, who is, is very, very like, like what I am now. यार मातक के नोवा मैं ए आ वागे पुंछ गैनो ला मैं क्या केला रहा हितना वा नेक्स्ट वन हु इज रिफर्ड टू एस शी इन लाइन थ्री मी इन लाइन फोर मैंने मैं वागे प्रश्न या कानिवारे में लेबिन आई भागे थे खाओ दे हु इज रिफर्ड टू एस मैं शी किया ने किंग काव दे रिफर कराने काव गैनो दे किया ने लाइन थ्री सो व्हाट डू Me then is it. the narrator. Then me, that is the narrator. So, number seven. What are the images that come to your mind when you read the poem? Now, what are the images? I have piano imagery. So let us see what they are. Little girls playing and going to school. An old lady. Ah, but the piano image imagery ka danga kar gal na me ek dugon wa school later, right? Eva game a dang. Why se ka kanta va ke pinture kut me vena, right? Next one. Find, find the, the rhyming, rhyming words. words. Uh, so B, you find a rhyming word as me, play, way, right. curls, girls. B me, they rhyme, play way, 
curves girls. Yeah, so next question is how many stanzas are there in this poem? Uh, it's also a very easy one. Yes, how many, how many stanzas Just are there? Just count the number of stanzas, that's yes. it. Four stanzas. There are four stanzas. Then next one, what type of stanzas are they? So, we talked about two types, couplet and chord trains. So, easily you can identify what it is. So, what type is? Yes, so that it's a chord train. Chord train. Yes, so students, we were discussing, uh, Hemachandra uh, sir and myself, we were talking to you about how to understand a poem and we discussed two poems with you uh, with a few uh, poetic techniques like rhyming words, uh, repetition and similes. So, you find these poems in your grade 11 textbook and in the workbook. So, read them, answer the questions and get into practice of writing answers. Yes. So, thank you so much sir Welcome. for joining Jatika Parsala today. On behalf uh, of our Jatika Parsala team, um, I thank you. So, children uh, stay with us. We will be bringing you another lesson next week also. Have a nice week. Thank you.